Hi everyone, I'm Shelly from There's No Place Like Home at redheadmom8.wordpress.com. Today I'm finally getting around to doing a video that I have wanted to do for a while but have been holding off on it. But seeing as all of the events that are happening in the world right now, this is too important to not address. Repeat after me. Distance learning is not homeschooling. When schools shut down, I'm going to admit, I was thankful that so many kids were getting a reprieve from the prison that I consider school to be. And I was a little hopeful that parents would decide that home was the best place for their kids to learn at. And while that certainly has been happening for a lot of families, for most families, it hasn't. And there have been some repercussions to the idea being spread mainstream now that what these parents whose kids are not in school right now because of COVID-19 are doing is homeschooling because they are not homeschooling. I saw an article the other day which stated that 55 million children are homeschooling right now. No, they are not. They are doing distance learning. And at the, at the beginning of this, I was kind of going along with the idea, you know, joking around saying, oh, everybody's a homeschooler now. But I began to see as time went on that this could very likely be bad for people who are actually homeschooling. So first of all, let me just point out the difference between the two. Homeschooling carries with it its own set of regulations in each state. Parents are in charge of the curriculum. Parents choose the curriculum. Parents choose what their children are going to learn about. They choose when their children will learn. They choose how their children will, will learn. They choose the assignments. And on the other hand, all of those children who are at home from school right now and who are simply doing work that their teachers gave to them that they have to complete and they have um, assignment dates that they have to turn things in or sometimes they're doing Zoom classes, that is not homeschooling. They are still technically public school students or private school students, depending on where they were going to school before all of this happened. But if a child is home from school and is now learning at home because of everything that is going on, unless their parent specifically withdrew them from school and submitted whatever they need to do, the, the proper paperwork to begin homeschooling, depending on the state, they're not all the same. Unless they did that, they are not homeschooling. They are doing distance learning. And so when I first began pointing this out, there were, most people agreed with me. Most people said, thank you for pointing this out. It's been driving me crazy. But then there were other people who said that it was a little um, off-putting for people and that I should give grace to those who are doing these things at home. Saying that people whose children are at home learning and doing schoolwork assigned by teachers is not homeschooling is not an insult. It is simply the truth. Um, just because your kids are doing their, their school in their house does not mean that they're homeschooling. And it doesn't mean that you as the parent are specifically doing anything wrong. But what I see happening is that um, there are a lot of things going on with this distance learning that if, if the lines are blurred and if people keep calling this homeschooling, it is going to lead down the road to tighter regulations for those of us who are actually homeschooling. So, you know, first of all, there are two reasons, two major reasons that I can think of for this. So first of all, if you think about it, most parents whose kids are learning at home right now, they were kind of thrown into this. They didn't expect it. They were unprepared for it. And who can blame them? This wasn't something that they were exactly planning for. But while some parents have really been enjoying this time with their kids, a lot of parents have been struggling. And that seems to be what is getting the most publicity nowadays. Everywhere you look, all over social media or on, in articles on magazines or newspapers, it's just talking about how homeschooling is failing students. Children aren't learning. Parents are throwing in the towel and saying they can't do this anymore. They can't homeschool. Again, they're not homeschooling. Homeschooling is not failing. School at home might be failing. Um, you might be throwing in the towel and saying that you can't do distance learning, but 
it has nothing to do with homeschooling. Absolutely nothing. Homeschooling, honestly, looks very, very little like what most parents are doing right now. What most parents are doing right now is they're just having them, their child do their typical schoolwork at home. And homeschooling, if you have watched any of my other videos, you will know that it doesn't look like that, at least not for most people. Some people might try to do it like that, but even then, they are still the ones in charge of their children's curriculum. They are still the ones in charge of their children's assignments, when they learn, what they learn. So even if it kind of looks from the outside the same, it's not the same thing. So besides all of this bad publicity that you get because there are a lot of parents who are getting frustrated and saying that they can't do it, you also might very well have kids who go back to school once schools open up who do have gaps in learning. And gaps in learning are one thing that I as a homeschooler don't worry about because I understand that children learn things when they need to learn them. They will come around to it. But the thing is, is that homeschool students have the benefit of being able to learn on their own timeline. And so when kids are in school, they can't. They kind of have to keep up with the crowd. So when these kids do go back to school, yeah, some of them might have gaps in learning. And there could be a lot of reasons. I think a big reason is that distance learning, honestly, is not a good way to learn for most kids. They're not good with sitting at a computer for hours every day. Um, a lot of parents are not equipped to assist their kids with their work because, let's face it, if their kids are doing Common Core, it looks nothing like what their parents were doing. I have heard that some, some teachers are not even offering any sort of assistance. Some are. Some, however, are not. And the kids are kind of struggling along. Um, sometimes there are parents who are working, so their kids are missing the Zoom classes that they're supposed to be attending. So distance learning in itself is not a good fit for children. So yeah, I am totally expecting to see that, that they're going to say that kids are, are behind when they start school again. Um, but again, what they're, they're not going to say that distance learning has left kids behind they're going to say that homeschooling has left kids behind. And so what I fear is going to happen, and this is something that was eating away at me right from the very beginning. I tried not to think about it, but the more and more I see the media going after homeschooling, and now we have James Dwyer and Elizabeth Bartholet constantly after homeschooling all the time. We have this anti-homeschooling summit that was canceled because of coronavirus. All of these things, they are, they are circling in on homeschooling and make no mistake, don't make no mistake about it. The media and James Dwyer and Elizabeth Bartholet and all of those people, they know that distance learning isn't homeschooling. They know that they are purposely blurring the line. They are blurring the line because they have always been against homeschooling because children who are learning outside of the public school setting are not getting the, the mainstream narrative. They're not being indoctrinated the way that elites like James Dwyer and Elizabeth Bartholet and yes, the media want kids to be learning. They want kids to be learning certain talking points. They want kids to be trained in certain ideologies. The public school system has nothing to do with education. If you actually study the history of it, you'll find that out very quickly. So what they're doing is they're blurring the lines on purpose. They are doing this because when kids do go back to school and when parents finally say, I'm not doing this anymore, and they just throw in the towel and don't have their kids do their assignments, when all is said and done, they can say, see, Homeschooling doesn't work. Kids just don't learn well at home. They have to be in a school setting. So what I see happening is either tighter regulations, which I already live in a highly regulated homeschooling state. I don't want tighter regulations. We already have too many, so as it is. What I also see is I honestly see because Elizabeth Bartholet said it herself. She wants a presumptive ban on homeschooling. And she thinks that if parents are going to homeschool, they have to prove that they have a good reason to homeschool their kids and that they can do it well. The problem is that all of these stories that you see circulating online right now, they're not giving you the, the statistics of actual homeschoolers, people who are actually homeschooling their kids. Because if you study those statistics, 
homeschool students typically outperform their peers regardless of their parents' level of education. It doesn't matter if the parents went to college. It doesn't matter if they got a doctorate or a master's degree or if they got an associate's degree or, or even if they just got their high school diploma. They are still, on average, outperforming children who go to public school and who are being taught by licensed teachers. They won't tell you that, though. What they are going to bring to you is the distance, the distance learners, they're going to push that forward because they know that most of society doesn't understand that there is a difference. So since right now there are so many more distance learners than there are actual homeschoolers, yeah, they're going to take full advantage of the fact that people are ignorant to that, not ignorant in a bad way, but ignorant just that they don't know the difference. And they're going to keep pushing these kids as homeschoolers. And what they're going to do is they're going to push all of the negative aspects of distance learning onto homeschooling. And they're going to try to, to take away our homeschooling rights. They are going to restrict them for sure. And we, as homeschoolers, we have to speak up. Stop worrying about if you're going to offend somebody. You have to let people understand that there is a difference between the two. And we're not, we're not pointing out the difference to be mean. We're pointing out the difference because we as parents have chosen to educate our children at home. Those of us who homeschool, we wanted to do it. Did I say that right? We did this on purpose. You know, I mentioned earlier that a lot of the parents nowadays were just thrown into it. Yeah. I, I, I bet you that some parents are not going to do a really great job, but what's going to end up happening is they're going to say, see, parents just aren't good teachers for their kids. No, parents are the best teachers for their kids, but there is a huge difference between parents who have been thrown into something unwillingly and without any sort of plan versus those who have done something because they believe that it is the best thing for their kids and that it is something that they wanted to do. The studies show, the studies are in our favor. We need to start telling people that homeschooling does work. Distance learning may not, but you know what? they are two different things and distance learning should no longer be associated with homeschooling. That's all that I have for you today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet and would like to hear more of what I have to say, I would love if you would do that. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave one over on Instagram because YouTube disables my comments. And if you like my work and would like to check out my Patreon page, I will leave a link in the description box for that as well. And I hope you have a great day.